Let's shift gears. And researchers in the UK have found that wounds heal more quickly if they occur during the day rather than after the dark. Well, our Dr. Masi Korir joins me for more on that study. Dr. Korir, an interesting study there. Um, you know, would would be difficult to understand for many, but uh, what is the rationale behind this? Uh, well, bef before we even get to that, it would be interesting to note that this year, the 2017 Nobel Prize mm -hmm. for Physiology or Medicine went to three scientists who unraveled how uh, our bodies tell time, how you're able to sleep, to rise and to do, you know, whatever it is that right. you're able to do uh, on a daily basis, which is now the circadian rhythm or which is your body clock. And mm -hmm. it's unique to every person, though it is affected by uh, the environmental cues, the temperature, the sunlight. So the body is able to tell that it's now daytime, it's time to rise and uh, go about uh, duties and it's now nighttime. It's it's time to tone down and sleep. And so this research, which was published uh, at the Science Translational Medicine, found out that, well, burns, this, this was a research done on 118 burns patients mm -hmm. in the UK. Mm -hmm. And the burns that happened at night took on average 28 days to heal. Right. And the burns that happened during the day took on average 17 days to heal. So that's, there was that's an 11, 10, day 11 day difference, difference yes, wow. in, in terms of the duration of time uh -huh. that uh, it takes to heal. Now, this study, as I said, was carried out uh, by the UK's uh, MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology on the 118 uh, patients. And it was published at the Science Translational Medicine. Now, the explanation uh, of this is that the body clock is unique to every human, which is the circadian rhythm, the one that is able to tell you what time to rise, what time uh, to sleep, to eat, which really regulates many physiological processes in a person. Mm -hmm. Now, this in the lab now, what they were looking at is what we call the fibroblasts. The fibroblasts are cells that will respond, or they are the first responders uh, to an injury. And now, these fibroblasts are also seen to change their abilities to respond according to this 24-hour pattern, just right. the same way uh, the body works. And the Nobel, uh, the Nobel Prize that was given uh, to these three scientists was also on the cellular levels, on how the body responds and is able to sell time. Now, the fibroblasts usually respond and rushes to the site of injury. Mm -hmm. So now, during the day, they, they are... It, it's like they are primed and they know that it's time for activity. So they really rush. Right. So they're, 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 they're on guard. Yes, they're, they're on, on guard and they're on standby uh -huh. to respond. But at night, they have lost this ability or they're slow and sluggish. So the response by the fibroblasts, so these cells that are the first responders, is slower at night. They will respond, but it's slower as opposed to the day. Mm -hmm. So it's the same way. It's like your body is ready for anything during the day. And in case anything happens, they are there and ready to respond. Now, the impact on this study, it may look very minimal on a, on, on a cellular level mm -hmm. or an individual level, mm -hmm. but looking at it, it can really improve surgical methods and treatments because if we know that your body will respond faster during the day, then it's better to operate during the day. It's better to give treatments during the day. I remember the other day, they, they, they ha the UK also had a report on how patients on open heart surgery respond mm -hmm. better in the afternoon as opposed to the morning when the body's injury is not really up and about. But in the afternoon, because your body is up and about, then surgical outcomes are better. And, at this, and in the long run, this will lower costs because it means the time you stay in hospital is reduced and your time to healing is reduced. Mm -hmm. So you are able to be released from hospital and you're able to be up and about to do what it is that you're able to you do really and be productive. Right. So this is groundbreaking. And actually the title of the of the report is that time heals all wounds. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we know we've been saying time heals, it's and, it's and, it, and it's actually time true. heals all wounds. Well, this is, this is yes. quite interesting. So mm -hmm. it's quite a medical development, especially in terms of surgery, yes. uh, because I'd imagine if um, it shortens the period of uh, healing from a burn for about 11 days, then mm -hmm. the period of healing from a surgery then would be drastically re reduced as well. Exactly, exactly. And it also means that, well, if you get injured, not only burns, any injury that happens during the day uh -huh. will take a shorter time to heal. So even if you're at home, you're better off, don't get injured, but you're better off getting injured during the day as opposed to during right. the night. So if, if you can avoid it at night, then by all means, do that. An interesting research there by doctors from the UK. It is now about uh, 24